Hey, what's up, 500 IQ squad? It's your boy Skizzle here, and today we got two topics at hands, but we're gonna combine both of these together because leaks have been really, really out there for not only Black Ops 4, but for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered 2. And in this video, I wanna actually talk about both of these. First of all, we're gonna start this video off with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, and keep in mind that this topic revolves Black Ops 4 as well, and then I will show you a couple of different things from Treyarch and Activision that will make you believe and that will definitely make you uncertain of the so-called official news or rumors leaks that are gonna be most likely true when we see the reveal for Black Ops 4 and the reveal is gonna be on May 17 so that's that but I've been hearing a lot of information about it some made me kind of like fall into it and some made me realize huh that shit is not hard that is just like fake news or whatever but I want to talk to you guys about Modern Warfare 2 Remaster and I really believe or I hear me out this is just gonna be my opinion but I will tell you why this may be not true yes even my opinion is sometimes wrong and even your opinion can be wrong too so I'm just saying don't be triggered but Modern Warfare 2 remaster is real it's gonna happen some believe that it's gonna happen this year some believe it's gonna happen in summer which I guess can be true but some believe it's gonna happen next year because Infinity Ward is gonna release their new game so that makes sense too but here's the thing we saw a listing that got people mind blown myself included we were dancing dabbing on them haters every single day you know what I'm saying but at the same time that release date was saying it's gonna release on April 30th and April 30th to my knowledge is not that far away and we're hearing absolutely nothing about it why is that maybe the leaks and rumors were absolutely fake or maybe the buzzwords have been Modern Warfare 2 Remastered got delayed and I kind of believe that but of course it's kinda and not fully I feel like what happened is that they heard us loud and clear that we want Modern Warfare 2 Remastered with multiplayer and they were like hey we only got campaign so we gotta push it back and we gotta delay it I think that's the best case scenario but obviously this is just speculation and that should tell you the uncertainty of these leaks my point here is that Charlie and Tokotaku Marcus Sellers and a lot of major sources said that we're going to hear about Modern Warfare 2 remaster and some guy also said that it's gonna be revealed in March and I was so like on the ball I was like hey nah it's not gonna happen and then I was like maybe it's gonna happen right so everyone was kind of like uncertain about it and the biggest point and the biggest takeaway from this is that maybe Maybe it was real but my point here is that even though the sources were claiming it to be real it's nowhere near to be found or nowhere near to be seen maybe yes they are gonna announce Modern Warfare 2 Remastered this coming week but that's also very uncertain I personally believe that it can happen in summer or next year but second of all this is coming from Activision CEO Activision did a call or investor call back in February I believe and Activision CEO Eric said the following that of course that's the stage for the game we have planned later this year he was talking about black ops 4 which is being developed by our team at Treyarch. now as you know they have developed some of our most successful games ever and they have proven time and time again that they know how to keep our players engaged for the long haul so what i get from this specifically is that Treyarch knows what we want right i mean doesn't take a rocket science genius to figure that one out right but he also says so overall i would say our strategy for call of duty is working world war 2 is a blockbuster we've got a thriving black ops community who's excited for the upcoming track 12 game i honestly really wish i could say more about what we have in the pipeline because i'm so excited about it but it suffice to say i think we have the best three year slate in call of duty's history which is really saying something given this franchise's history and of course he means to say modern warfare 1 2 3 black ops 1 black ops 2 call of duty ghosts and uh, advanced warfare and everything like that and i think we've got multiple different game universes and that could tell you that Call of Duty Ghosts could be one Advanced Warfare and Modern Warfare and Black Ops and we know Black Ops is coming back this year and he says we got multiple game universes that we know our players love on tap so obviously more to come on that so let's not talk about like anything other than Black Ops 4 here so he claims that the next three year cycle is gonna be probably the best and that was something that he said back in February after World War 2 has came out so Treyarch next game is gonna be the 
first one, Infinity Ward is gonna be the second one, and then Advanced Warfare 2, or whatever the case may be for Sledgehammer Games next, is gonna be the third game that he was kinda talking about here, which is good news, but at the same time, the leaks are kinda have overshadowed all of that, and a lot of people are not realizing that that's exactly what they said. And the third biggest thing is this one, and this was found over on Treyarch job listing, and this is exactly what they said, Excel in a team environment, self-motivated and egoless, very important. And then they say the following, of course the highlighted thing is the most important one here, but the rest of the things can tell you something about it as well. And here's what they say, and you'll really get our attention if you have combat design experience on a AAA competitive shooter, so AAA competitive shooter, maybe Overwatch, I don't know, I'm just saying, but AAA as Call of Duty, Battlefield and other games like that, for sure, for sure, right? But they also say previous design experience owning entire categories of gameplay content both at the moment to moment and system levels and then the most important part here was that deep knowledge base of YouTube and modern technology or modern military technology and that should tell you something that they made it so clear to the point where they were like you gotta be deep or you got to have deep knowledge based off the current modern day YouTube and modern day military technology. You know what I'm saying here when I say YouTube, right? But then we also had the point where it says Prestige 1 or above in Black Ops 3 multiplayer and that should tell you that they want someone that has deep knowledge of current state of the the modern day technology and they also want someone that have played Black Ops 3 multiplayer and at least got some time on it because Prestige 1 would really make that person know like what this game is all about so they want someone that have played Black Ops 3 which is good news for sure and of course Activision is all about making their investors happy and of course us the gamers because if we're happy, their investors are gonna invest more and then Activision will be happy and if they are happy, that means the investors are happy and everyone like that. So I really do not think that these leaks are real. Maybe miscommunication happened or something and I would really stand on the fact that maybe what they heard was absolutely real and was coming from a reliable source but that reliable source may have heard some things from Activision and Activision purposely said some misleading stuff to them to create this fake news and fake news get people talking if you say something good no one will be talking about it but let me know what you guys think in the comments below subscribe if you are new check out some other videos on the screen and let's wait for the reveal for black ops 4 and i am really really excited